Hello YouTube reseller mom here. Welcome to today's video. Today we are going sourcing at Fred Meyer. I have a lot of stuff going on though so I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the returns that I'm doing and pickups I'm doing and just scheduling and stuff like that. Not too long but a little bit. So today is Sunday. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Oh, I got a got a like a little fluff from my um, steering wheel cover in the camera. So today is Super Bowl Sunday. It's the 7th of February and I want to get my shopping done before the big game because I do plan on eating some probably junk food and watching the game and kind of enjoying that. Yesterday I did a bunch of running around, mostly errands for my family though, including grocery shopping, but I did sneak in some replens and my Dollar Tree pickup order. So today I gathered up all of my returns and I wanted to talk about the who's, what's, when's, why's, etc. because I'm sure you're running into similar scenarios and it's not all uncommon. So first up at Fred Meyer, I'm returning three toys. They're all of the same item. And it was a pretty big merchant fulfilled order return that hurts a little bit. This toy was one of those calico critters. I don't know if you know what they are, but they're like bunnies and pandas and cats and dogs and stuff, little critters. And they, they all have houses and accessories and whatnot. There was one particular one during um, Q4 that was $16 at Fred Meyer's, maybe $16.94 or something, going for $44, give or take a few dollars, during the height of Q4. So, you know, this was one that I really, really liked. Having a three, somebody that ordered three return, meant it was $120-ish um, give back. So that, that kind of hurts a little bit, but... I went and looked at the price. Amazon is now on the listing, and so the price is tanked to about what the store is selling it at. I'm within my return period, and all three are brand new immaculate conditions, so I'm just gonna go ahead and return them to the store and get my capital back. At $16 a pop, that's $45 worth of capital. I did look at selling it, and the best I could probably do was it would be a net $5 loss on each one. And since I'm within the return period, I will go ahead and just return them. Now, what's weird is the reason for return was damaged with a very descriptive kind of complaint about the post office delivering all their stuff, damaged goods and whatnot. And so I was, when we were opening them last night, I'm going, oh, these are probably destroyed. They weren't. They didn't even look touched. So sometimes people put reasons in their return that just so they can get the shipping or, or whatnot, get the return through with Amazon, and that happens. Next up I want to talk about was I had a personal order, which was funny because I was researching, um, I can tell you the brand, it's Dave's Cornbread, which is the best cornbread in the world, let me tell you. It's really good, probably really bad for you. It's definitely a treat around our house. But I saw it go on Super Duper three pack for eight dollars on Amazon when I was looking around at bundles and and sales and you know how you get those deals popping up on your screen and I thought wow that's a really great price that's cheaper than what I can find it at usually went ahead and ordered it it showed up in a Walmart box I kid you not they drop shipped an Amazon order to me from a Walmart box I am 99% sure, I haven't researched it but I'm 99% sure you are not allowed to do that in fact they had a big letter that came out last week or the week before about drop shipping, outlining the rules and what you can and can't do. And I'm fairly certain you cannot drop ship from Walmart. So now I'm in this quandary of, you know, do you report that person or do you let it, f let it fly? And I'm a big person on karma, so I probably won't. But man, I, if the other half of me goes, if we let other sellers break the rules all the time, it makes it worse for sellers that really are following the rules. So it's quite a dilemma for myself. What would you guys do? It's, uh, would you report this person drop shipping from Walmart or would you just let it go and move on with your life? <sighs> tough things, tough things. Okay, next I have some returns at Walmart and they are toys, again, the same scenario. I had about three toys come back yesterday. One, I would make a, make a profit or break even, so it went to FBA, and the other two, I would lose money on, so we are gonna wrap those up and get those returned quickly. Again, if they are at all damaged or whatnot, I don't return them to the store, I just throw them over on eBay. 
take a loss, throw them up on eBay. But if they are brand spanking new, just return them and move on. Then I have a return at Walgreens for a Squishmallow, and I wanted to talk about Squishmallows for a moment. The Yoda Squishmallow that was a big hit during Q4 from Walgreens, if you were still on that listing, you would have received an IP complaint this week. I'm sorry to inform you, but uh, that there was rumor that IP complaints were coming down on Squishmallows, so I went ahead and listed all my stuff over on eBay and shut down the listings, and I did it gosh, less than 48 hours before the IP hammer came down and I dodged that bullet. So I have my Squishmallows now listed. There's only a handful left over on eBay. They are selling a mm, couple a week, not as fast as I would like, but nonetheless, I'll get my capital back versus returning them to the store would be my other option. But one of them came in really dirty. I don't, I don't know what they did, but He's got a big black mark all over his head. I tried to clean it with the non-scented wet wipes that sometimes get rid of that surface, surface scuff, but no luck. So that guy will be going back today. All right, so our plan for this video is I'm gonna go into Fred Meyer, get my return done, and then I'm going to probably scan with you in toys. I'll put in the, the title whatever we wind up doing. I say it with a grain of salt because I do like to check out other departments for any sort of sales going on to see what's going on in the store. And if there's a certain department that has a good sale going on, then I'll probably be drawn to that to do some scanning. But I wanted to scan with you guys and show you what I'm looking for. So I wanted to do a department for you guys and then I will be focusing in on Easter candy and last minute Valentine candy because what is it it is the seventh you could still get some merchant fulfilled items out in the next couple of days i'd probably call valentine's hard cut off like the 10th so you know, only got about three days to really capitalize on any last minute valentine's day candy but it would all be merchant fulfilled easter candy Ooh, do you guys see that behind me there's cops yeah you can see it in the in the back kind of by my head um so yeah, I've lost my train of thought when I saw the flashing lights. Not like I'm going anywhere, I'm parked, but going to focus on Easter candy, going to look at the toys, and we'll see what we can find today. It's been a few minutes. I have scanned some toys and the Easter stuff. I also forgot my mask, so I totally had to drive home, get my mask, because I cleaned them all out and got them washed. So we're in the beauty section. That's the section we're gonna to scan together because beauty items are on sale, particularly body ecology. If you guys haven't heard of that, I hadn't either until I found some that were good to sell, but they were clearanced out a little bit lower than what I'm seeing today, but we'll see. And then Miss uh, Dr. Teals. Dr. Teals is okay. It's not my particularly, it, they're really heavy products. So that's why I don't like them. They tend to, be very um what do you call it just just heavy so this is the body ecology i don't know if it's going to come up or if we're going to have to keyword we might have to do an image scan too come on ah oh, there we go dark orchid what are we at 3.99 so 900 in rank is way too high for me in beauty it could be that it hasn't been sold for a while. You could look at the keepograph. But we're going to just move on and see what else we can find here. <laughs> it's not worth anything. I think I found them clearanced a long time ago. Oh, we can try the fragrance. Fragrance is going to be hazmat, though. You have to send it in via ground. But I think it was clearanced out at the local grow Bartels for... 99 cents a bottle it was good price all right this one at four dollars would be a, almost a winner it's a two-pack i almost didn't see that there was nobody on this aisle when i started now there are four people including one worker all right what do we got here we got two listings I think the bottom one is better with the rank couldn't quite see the packaging has definitely changed. 16 ounces, 16 ounces, so just it's an updated bottle. Still not profitable, so it doesn't make any no difference there. It's 
sweet love. What I'm looking for is a fragrance that people are paying up for. This one's four dollars. You'd make a dollar sixty-four. Not quite good enough for my standards. I really wanna, if I'm gonna spend four, I really wanna make more than two. Plus it's a little heavy, so I kinda wanna make more than that. This one's pretty junky. The single pack is 315,000 rank. Two pack's good, but the price isn't good. So good on rank, not on price. We're gonna scan a few more, but this is what you do. You pick, pick a section and get familiar with it. You know, now when I go to different stores or whatnot, if I see body ecology, I kind of have some prices in mind on what would be good, what would not be good, and what to look for, what not to look for. If I found a wholesaler, you know, I could tell you now that the two pack would be better than the single pack, and it's all about doing that research. So $8, uh, you'd get back $4. That one actually wouldn't be too bad. There's no FBA sellers. So we found one winner out of, how many did we scan there? So $4 in uh, cost of goods, $12 total back. You'd have to make it into a two pack. You'd get $4 back, which would be about 50% ROI. Because nobody's there on FBA and the FBM is 1980, I would probably put it in an FBA at 2299. Just a couple extra dollars to help cover those costs of um, the shipping and everything like that. So we're gonna keep scanning. This was kind of a little section I pegged to scan with you guys because it looked like it had some some decent prices, nothing glorious, it's Fred Meyers. I did find a couple toys, so I was happy about that. We got a two set. Let's click on this one. Shea Moisture, I've seen around a couple of times. Now nah, these are $4.49 a thing, so nope. We can try some of uh, these other ones. What I did this week was I had a, I have a beauty item that I like, great. Uh, 22, sorry, doing the math and talking to you guys. 22, it'd be $23 by cost. Um, seven minus, it'd be about $4 profit. Yeah, that's not really worth it. Uh, so I had a beauty item that I liked. Let's see if we can start this story six times. And I reached out to them and I said, um, huh, my emails are usually pretty generic because I don't know who's going to be on the other end. So I just say something like, I'm interested in a wholesale account. What is the process? And they wrote back. They were like, oh, go to this beauty wholesale site. And uh, that's what I'll be doing. However, the beauty wholesale site um, is it's more on the higher end for four things. There's a pretty hefty minimum. They want to see some parameters. I don't know if I'll be able to qualify for it, but my point is, is that Ooh. <laughs> they're calling the officers. I always have interesting trips. We've got two here. One I'm gated in, one I'm not. Interesting. Uh, so anyhow, if you like a product, you can reach out to them and get wholesale ideas. Two for $10. 14, so you'd get $4 back. That's a 40% ROI. There we go, we found another one. Dr. Teal's Moisturizing Body Oil could be a possible bolo for you guys. Um, yeah, I just picked this aisle because I'm not going to get any of these things, but I'm tempted. I could come back for it too. If I'm doing... The other thing I want to do is check out why uh, this is not... Um, why this is requiring approval. So that's interesting. I'm gonna just take a quick snapshot, grab that UPC code, and I can Google it later when you guys aren't on the phone with me. Got coconut oil, that looks really good. I like that. Why did it not come up? All right, I'm not sure where we were. Husband called, doing husband things. Uh, I think I was trying to do this one. You. Oh, I am probably picked up a UPC code that's all around here. Okay, so same thing. The rank on that is pretty junk, though, so not even gonna... Not even gonna go. Uh, did we do this one? I think we might have done this one. Yeah. Ooh, I might be gated in Dr. Teal's. I'd have to go over and... Uh, 
take a look at that. We can try to get ungated. Let's see, that would not be moneymaker, but for purposes of this video, I will go do that later tonight. We've got a little one pounder bag, not for sale. This is where I would start looking for a two pack. See what the keep a chart says. If this was when it was in stock, let's see, it's $3.49 here. If it was going for $12 plus dollars, then I would um, consider coming back. And that's something that I can, again, look at later tonight. These guys sometimes do well. You gotta find the right kind and, um, Oh, like some do better than others, and I find two packs on these guys. I've seen a couple two packs that have been good, but Amazon does not ship them very well. I've had a couple that break in transit. Okay, this one's not too bad. Was it five seventy nine? This is another money maker. No, oh, no. Hey, hold on. So I totally ran into my best friend, the one that I go walking with on with my dogs every day, was out shopping today. So sorry for all the interruptions. Some days that's just what happens. So Fred Meyer, let's do a recap. And since the scanning was a little on the short side, I will try to do some more scanning with you guys at another store. I got, let's see here, one, two, three different toy ASINs in the toy department and all I can do, or all I can tell you is I looked for what was on sale. I scanned everything that was on sale because I know Fred Meyer pricing is a little bit on the high side. So kind of got to get everything on sale. There's very few products. It's just really on the high side. There's hardly any products that you could buy full price and have replenishable at Fred Meyer that I have found. Got one Easter item. Total, I don't, I didn't mark down how much I spent, but um, not a whole lot. I also found out in the checkout that they no longer have the points. They used to give like a rebate point thing. They don't have that anymore. I do still get the gas points. So Fred Meyer is great. I usually get a dollar off per gallon uh, because I do so much shopping there for work. So it's worth that there. But it's kind of sad to see some of these reward programs get nerfed because of the pandemic. I know stores are hurting and they've got to cut wherever they can. And that's an easy program that they can cut but it is one of the reasons and incentives that I had shopped there. So I think it might hurt their customer base as well. The items that I needed to return, they have changed the UPC code and the packaging has changed ever so slightly. And because I didn't have my receipt and the system was down, she couldn't look it up by my phone number that's associated with my account. And she couldn't give me store credit because it was the UPC has changed, which is weird. So it's like a Scooby-Doo mystery here. I will now I'll go track down my receipt so that I can get full price on the returns, or I may stop into another Fred Meyers and see if that store has changed over to the new product. So the old product was like one way and the new one says uh, posable arms now. Really it's the same product, but slightly different on the packaging, which you do need to watch out for when you are listing things. If it says new packaging or not new packaging, and you need to decide whether that's something you can go on or not. The Bodycology that we were looking at, the new bottle form is fine, at least from initial looking at it. I was reading a product the other day. It was Method. Method soap dispensers have changed their whatever they're they're now instead of uh, what was it they were kind of like a towerish and now they're more body shaped the new body shape is hated by customers and customers are saying it's not the right formula so i was looking at some replens on that and items on that uh and you know read the comments and if the reviews are new bottle type is terrible or this one in particular said the new what they were getting didn't match the picture and they were looking specifically for that old picture. You'll find that sometimes with uh, Bath and Body Works. Old scents, they may have updated the scent and it's not quite the same and customers are really looking for the one that was produced in a particular year or something. Now, I don't know if Body Works really does change the scent or if people just think the scent has changed, but uh, maybe they do on some and maybe they don't on some. My point is, is make sure your item matches up or you may have problems with returns and customer stuff. 
somebody is revving their engine. Um, there was something else I was going to say. It will come to me. Maybe later. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Uh, a friend of mine posted this morning that he had a listing that kind of went kaputs and he couldn't no longer... Boy, my English is good. He couldn't list on it anymore and they were trying to figure out why. And it looks like it was for a brand, a toy brand, that he was... The person who made the listing one uh, was gated in and he couldn't list it because he was gated in it too. So there was some mess ups there. Uh, you know, I am worried about the toys that I'm sourcing today because all of the compliance paperwork that has come down, there's no real good way to see if that paperwork is gonna be needed or not. One of the ways that I could try and see if the paperwork is needed is listed as merchant fulfilled, wait a day, see if it flags on the account that I need the paperwork, and then I could either return the product versus sending it, sending it into FBA and then not being able to come up with the paperwork and having to recall the products. So keep that in mind as well. I'm going to head down to my next store. My next store is Costco for a return. I bought some pants and they're really short. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm a tall person. Uh, working on putting together replens for Costco. I, I see that some people do that. So that's kind of interesting to me as well. Um, not doing that today. It's the weekend. I went to Costco yesterday. I'm never going to Costco again on the weekend. Lesson learned. Then I have some replens at Cost Plus World Market. That's another store that's pretty good to start learning the ins and outs of. For that one, a lot of times you wanna do keyword searches, not just UPC scans. And then I will be stopping in for a return to Kohl's. I ordered some bras from Kohl's online to send to the house to sell, and one came completely dirty, and it looked like a reject return or something. And I am I tried, again, spot cleaning, and it is not spot cleaning. And I was a little ticked off that they would send me new merchandise that does not look new <laughs> at all. So that was a, it happens. Especially when you're doing online arbitrage, you get a lot of damaged items. I had ordered a whole bunch of things and two orders, two different stores. One was Walmart, one was Menards. And they just shoved everything into the box and I know that, and usually I'll break up my Walmart order, but apparently I didn't on this one, and they shoved everything in there, and I've got about five things I need to damage out tomorrow uh, that are just, they're destroyed. Um, the Menards one, surprisingly nothing broke. I was expecting to have, don't hit me, I was expecting to have a lot of damage, and surprisingly I didn't have any damage, but I tell you, the box was well over 50 pounds. <laughs> That was the other part. We had to open it at the door and then offload the items into smaller containers to bring them down because nobody was going to, to be able to manhandle that box down nicely without hurting themselves. All right, moving on, moving on. And I, I hope you guys were getting an idea of scanning. So I do that for a lot of things, and especially if I'm new to a store or, or you know, even with Fred Meyer, there's still sections of the store that I have not gone through with a fine tooth comb. But today I've gone through Bodycology and the teal stuff. And the teal stuff, obviously I need to do some more research because I thought I was ungated in it, but there was a lot of gating that I saw there. So I need to go through and see if I can get ungated. And there was a lot of options for two packs. So now what I'll do when I'm at home at night is type in Dr. Teal's and maybe two pack or multi-pack or bundle or some other keyword that I will see what is good for a two pack. And then I know what the prices are now. They're on sale for two for 10 for the most part there on the big bottles and the um, Epsom salt stuff. So I can sit there and see if anything would be really good to get on for a bundle listing. And that's what you do. There's, there's a million ways to research things. When I'm at the store though, I like to dive into one little department. Today I did two sections in the toy. I did some candy, some seasonal candy, and I did the two body, um, what do they call it, like health beauty items with you guys, two uh, brands there. But you could do that with every brand. You could do it, you know, head and shoulders, every shampoo brand. You know, spend 30 minutes in the shampoo area to see which shampoos are desirable and which, um, how the sales and stuff rotate. Like Walgreens is on my list today, two Walgreens hopefully, because there's a couple of replenishable items there that are now on sale that I want to get on. So we're going to head out to the next door. I really only have about three, four hours left and I feel like I have quite a few stops to make. 
I am done with Costco. That was pretty easy. Luckily, there was nobody in line for returns. And then I ran over to Cost Plus World Market to get some replenishables. And I made myself scan sections until I found one new re replen that I could add to my list going forward. And I bought five to start with. I usually like between three to five to test out a product, depending on the price, of course, etc. So uh, that was good to get some of those replenishables in the car and to find another new item. If you do that every time you're out and about, you spend a little bit of time in a new section, either increasing your knowledge, it's never time wasted, or finding a new product to sell. You know, eventually you build up enough in each store to run in and get some more replens going. Now I'm gonna hop into Burlington. I'm just going to scan the bra section and see if there's any new ones that have uh, come in. And I also have one return here that's a personal return. So we'll see what I find there. I don't think I'm gonna take your bra scanning with me because you guys have seen that a hundred times, but maybe I'll show you what I get in the end. I am having some good luck. This is kind of what I'm after. We've got very good rank, 10,000 in rank. Playtex is not a gated brand, or at least I don't believe it is. I hope it's not. $5.99. I'm going to compare myself to the $22 FBA price there. $8 a piece. There's three on the rack. Easy peasy. That's $24 in one scan of profits. That makes up for, you know, scanning 15 baby blanks, blankets there. Anyhow, I now have six bras on my cart. I'm going to keep going. Moving along with my days. If I didn't say so, I spent 106 or 107 in Cost Plus World Market on my replens and the one new item I'm going to check out. I got done with Burlington, spent 126 and got 26 bras. So not too shabby there. I was pretty excited. Basically, I just went to the bra section and I cherry picked. I look for Playtex, Bali, anything that I've been shopping for and seen, they had replenished a lot of them, which was great and it was fairly new. So they had two or three out on the rack and I could just grab all two or three and um, that makes it pretty easy. There was one white bra that has a little bit of smut on the uh, top. So I'll see if I can get that cleaned off, but if I can't, then I'll return that, not a big deal. Went into Kohl's, and Kohl's was more of a recon mission than anything else. Uh, the bras were not, still not priced very well. There was more than one rack, though. The, instead of one or two racks, there's now three racks of bras. It looks like they're starting to move things, but the prices for the ones that I'm interested in were still over $20 a piece, and that's just too expensive for reselling. There were some other ones, you know, candies, Vera Wang, that don't sell online very well. Down, I saw 11 to $15 range. So if you do need bras for yourself, it might be a good time to go look if you're fine with those brands. I wound up getting myself a pair of mucklucks for the office. I love those, you know, they're kind of nice and cozy on clearance for $16. And my daughter a pair of gloves because she needs a new pair for ice skating for 10 and then I had $5 off. Anyhow, it was under 20 bucks for a pair of shoes and a pair of gloves. So check that off my box. I also got a Valentine's Day card for my honey at Cost Plus. So another check off my box. When I'm doing these big long trips, I usually, you know, have my ideas of what I need to return and things. And I start a list in my Google Keep. And before I started going today, I just took that list and arranged it by order so that I could map out my area. And let's see here, I'm done with Kohl's. Next is Walgreens, followed by another Fred Meyer, followed by Walmart last. So I still got three stores to go. I haven't checked the time, but my stomach is telling me it's getting close close to needing food. But I'm holding out because we've got some good game, game time food, which is total junk food that we planned out to, to kind of enjoy the Super Bowl since we can't spend it with our friends. Um, so I'm gonna hold out for, for that. But it's hard in this area. There's a bunch of restaurants that are frying and cooking and barbecue and the smells are starting to get to me. But we're going to go to Walgreens now and hopefully I can scan some things for you. I have not found any <sighs> Valentine's Day candy to sell over the next couple of days. Merchant Fulfilled real quick. I was hoping to find some at Fred Meyer. I did not. There was a couple of things that were close, but it was spend seven to really make like two and 
you know, the hassle with Merchant Fulfilled, that's just not enough profits there for me. So we'll see if Walgreens has any good clearance. Fred Meyer didn't really have their candy on sale yet. Um, it was all still pretty full price. So that's probably why I didn't find anything good. Hopefully Walgreens is better. And if it's not, that's okay. We'll find something else to scan together at Walgreens to wrap this video up. We are in Walgreens and we're going to start scanning here while we talk. These are pretty cool. Um, I'm going to guess they're chocolate. Kind of look like they might be a pain to ship, but we could have figured it out if it was worth it. Celebrations. $14.99, $6.99 here. Let's see if they match up. Come on, phone, you can do it. So I went and did my return. Mm. I could probably send that in and get more than $14.99. It's $6.99 here. Looks like it will be quite a bit to ship based on the size. If we do that, that means we get $6.80 to ship it and profits. Not enough. I'm worried about the shipping on that one. The regularity of it. So anyhow, I went and did my return, and then I asked the guy if he, since I had to do the return with a manager for online, asked him if he knew how to do tax-exempt purchases, and he was like, no, but I can figure it out. He just told me that he does know how to do it now. These do not have a price. <laughs> All right. Hmm. The other candy over here is $5.99 a piece. If we put a buy cost of 12 Oh, I already did that at another store. $12. We could get that. You know what? I want to play with one. I'm going to grab four. I want to try that listing. Sell it. Pack it. See how it goes. And I want to see how much it charges here. So we're going to try that one. We found one good thing. I already went and looked at my replens for the store that I was after. Looks like somebody was here before me. Scooped them all up. What is this one? Star Wars Friendship Exchange Lollipops. So we're going to do the Valentine's Day aisle together. And I'm going to go check out tax exempt wise with my new friend. $11. 176000 in office products. Uh, ooh. Midnight Fudge Truth or Dare. That looks fun. 47,000. For food, I'm looking for under 50,000 in rank. Oof. Tons of sellers. Probably not cheap enough. But if you got that at half price, then you could make it work. Overall, the Valentine's area doesn't look too amazing. Looking a little slim. Okay, we got a pack of four up there. $34 for a pack of four. Pack of two. Thirteen. Let's look at the pack of two. I, I'm getting into the spot where there's... There's just no labels on anything here. <laughs> it makes sourcing hard if you don't know how much anything costs. Got some groovy music. <sighs> working, working. So this was the two pack. Let's say cost of shipping, let's say it was $8. They were $4 a piece. You might be able to bag that one. That could have been a good one. So ideally, you'd want to know the prices and have a good idea what you're going to pay for shipping on these. And if you don't know, then do like I'm doing. Get one. I'm going to pack up those four Reese's. They will need to go into a box. They will be over a pound. See how much they are. This one could have been good. 
Oh, the perfect man. We finally found him. My guy's pretty good. I don't know if he's perfect, but he's pretty darn close. We are planning a nice meal for Valentine's Day. I think we're either going to go with lobster or crab, so that'll be fun. This guy could have been good, too. Number one teacher. Hmm. Nope, that didn't come up. Now, I could have gone and asked for all the prices, but what you guys don't see around us here is a lot of freaking people. And for, you know, I'm just doing this video for you guys. And I'm not going to go bother these hardworking people to track down the prices. You guys can get an idea of, of what, what it would be and what you would need to have it priced at. Besides, you know, this is Walgreens. This candy is like at every major store, so it'd be the same. I see a lot of things that I saw at Walmart, see at Target, see at uh, many other stores. Ooh, look at that photo. Isn't that great? Who took that one? This is $4.99. We wouldn't make much of anything. Now, a lot of these types of little hearts and things, I don't really scan because they're so small. If they are have something to them, like we've got Snoopy here, we've got a sampler, set of four samplers. You would want to send them four different ones, obviously. We've got a Mickey here I would scan. Uh, BB-8 came up at a different location, but it's too expensive. It, pretty much anything that's name brand. The ones that are just smiley faces or uh, non-licensed things, just skip over. So these are two bucks a piece. It'd be eight dollars for ten dollars. Nah. Um, let me give you an example like this one. She's cute, but she's not really anything. It's not going to come up. So don't <laughs> prove me wrong, I guess. Jeez, she did come up. Um, still not a listing I would jump on because they've got dogs and mermaids and all sorts of things. And whatever your person is ordering, probably not going to get the right one. So that's just asking for trouble there. If people see the doggy one, they're going to want the doggy one. And vice versa if they want the mermaid one. We got Sour Patch down here. Six five ninety nine. That might be a good one. Maybe. I wonder where my phone's been poopy this afternoon. Ever since I walked into Walgreens, it's not been liking me. Six dollars to seven dollars. Meh. Let's check out Oreo. $5.99. Oh my goodness. The hamsters are working too hard in my phone. So we've got $5.99. Yeah, you'd make a dollar. Not very good. On the other wall, let's see here if you guys can see. That's the manager that's helping me. Uh, n again, no name brands. So we're going to continue over here on this side. Let's do Whitman's. Whitman's makes god-awful chocolates. They are not good. Kind of like Russell Stover's. They're the cheap box. But $4.99. Nope, not coming up. Let's try some Russell Stover's. Yeah, nothing. Ooh, Ferrero Rocher. Now we're getting into good stuff. This one's a smaller box. $8.99 is not a good price. I was hoping some of this would be a little bit more discounted. It is not. And make a dollar on that. So, so far we haven't really found much of anything. Ghirardelli, at least not for the right price. The candies here, these ones look really good. If I were to get chocolates, this would be the one. I should take a photograph and send this to my husband. Um, this one looks really, really good. But uh, the chocolates aren't something you can buy and hold. We're going to go into multiple season. It's just not going to be good. Not good times. 
I mean, a lot of things like Halloween candy is still selling. I'm sure the chocolates will start to sell or, you know, they will sell a little bit, but I don't know. Maybe somebody else out there has more experience with that. I never buy Valentine's Day stuff to hold. What do you guys think? I could be wrong. I have sold Easter stuff all the way up into June and then I ran out, so yeah, this one's no good. $14.99. <laughs> that leaves you $5 for profit and shipping. I don't think so. Let's see here. We've got Lindor. Lindor's could be good. I haven't seen any any uh, Easter. Let's go across the aisle over here. Vitamins. Vitamins could be good. What do we got? Oh, we got Squishmallows. I wouldn't buy any Squishmallows for Amazon, though. TY Beanie Babies, too. Those are... Um, all my TY stuff got flagged for CP CSC paperwork, so that wasn't good. Oh, okay. There's no rank on this guy. The, the shelf says $6.99, so pay seven to get 10. Oh, tempting, tempting. If there wasn't IP issues this week, nobody, I don't, I haven't heard. I know the, the, uh, Yoda got flagged, but I haven't heard if other Squishmallows have gotten flagged. It is not worth it to me to, uh, to walk that line. All right, let's go over here. We got Disney Baby Mickey Mouse. He's pretty cute. $6.99. It's got a small peel this sticker. You want to make sure you peel that sticker off for sure. Nothing. Little loveys. I think I've scanned that one before. Yeah, okay, we got Winnie the Pooh, not Mickey or Minnie. What happens with those is the UPC might be shared with others or somebody just associated the wrong one. That has happened too. All right, buy one, get one 50% off. The Imaginex, there's some of these guys that are pretty good. Probably not this one. Yeah, no, 749, garbage. We've got some regular old Play-Doh, empty shelf, empty shelf, empty shelf. Nothing really going on. Everything else is full price. We've got little swimmers. Anything summertime coming in is gonna be good. This one's cute. Fisher Price, you get a little avocado and a taco. That's what I'm about, man. I could live on tacos. <laughs> it's $9.99 here. $7.99 on the internet. <sighs> Oh, I like, um, what is a Spirit? I've sold some of those. That's one of my returns over at Walmart today. A Spirit. Not this one. My Spirit one that I had tanked in price. So what have we got here? $17.21. If you could find that one for a better price, that'd be a good one. All right. Ooh, I see some sale tags. I'll scan. Okay. This type of stuff, I don't typically send in. We can scan it, but just because of the hazmat issues. Oh, these guys have been good too. So $4.99, buy one, get one 50% off. So, um, I can't scan and do the math. That'd be two for $7.50. We'll just say $4.00. I have found them over on Big Lots when Big Lots has their toys on sale before. You gotta get good ones. This one's pretty cool. He's got little sunglasses. He's pretty, pretty jiving. So $4 to $7. Now with toys, pretty much under $500,000 i am pretty good with. Let's see if we can find a buddy to go with him so that we can get the sale price. This one's pretty cute too. She's a little pink girl. They're really weird feeling though, I have to say. If you touch them, they're kind of got, I don't know what's with all the squishy stuff going on. Seems to be the thing to do. Okay, she's not too bad too at $4. You'd make pretty good money and she's half the rank. All right, we got a third one. 
third puppy dog. He's all about the money. He should be the reseller dog. Why is he such high rank? That doesn't make sense. 768,000. Okay, well, I'm gonna get the top two ranking ones and put them in the cart with my Reese's and move on. But keep your eye out for these guys if you are ungated in whatever the heck they are. Called OMGs. Oh my goodness, dogs, pets. Uh, let's see here. Clarence is out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. There is. Okay. <laughs> Let's show you what I'm looking at. I mean, the empty shelving is for real. Oh, I got a whole bunch. What is over here? I mean, sometimes these things do really well. I don't, you know, I just have no idea. Transformers, Bumblebee. The movies have been awful. So I can't imagine this being worth anything. But I'm not an expert in Transformers. $13.99. Sometimes I gotta click on it because it, you know, I don't know. Sometimes I do. But we'll scan this one too. I probably don't need to click on that. $18.99, I can tell you right now at $14, the difference of $4 is not enough to, to uh, it's not enough meat on the bones there. Alright. Everything else looks picked over and not stocked up. We can look on this side. They're starting to get some of the summer stuff out. You can see the bubbles and the sidewalk chalk. The puzzles don't look like anything. That's what flagged my eyes. They look like pretty basic, basic puzzles. Yeah, nothing good. We've got whatever that stuff is at the top that's their brand it's not name brand of anything oh we've got an Olaf I see Olaf sitting here what is he oh he's another squishy thing I'm telling you the squishy things are desirable okay I don't know what my phone decided to do all right Minnie Mouse bubble machine so it's got the liquid bubbles Anytime you get that, I worry about the liquid and the hazmat. I did sell some bubble thingies eons ago. And the, I just remember customer reviews and they were talking about spillage. I can't remember if that was on mine or somebody else's, but that is it for the toy aisle. So we're going to go check out. I will do a little looky-loo on one of the other two aisles. And I'm just not seeing much today in here. It looks pretty picked over. It is 3.48 and I'm late to the Super Bowl, so I gotta get moving here and I'm done with shopping, but let me catch you up on what happened. At Walgreens, all I got was the, walk my car too, there's a lot of activity around me. At the Walgreens, I got the four chocolate hearts that I'm gonna try and merchant fulfill and see how that goes. I'm kinda interested in how much it, sh it costs to ship and what the profits will be. So when everything is said and done, I can break that down and see, was that profitable? Was it not profitable? And that will give me an idea for the same size pack for Easter, for next year, for Reese's does the same thing with, uh, what was it? Pumpkins for Halloween, trees for Christmas, hearts for um, Valentine's Day, and then eggs, I think, for Easter. So you'll see a lot of those multi-packs. It's good to kind of do a couple of Merchant Fulfill to see what the shipping is etc and get a feel for it got the two toys and they rang up at 10.99 and i told the guy i said the shelf said this and da, da, da. anyhow they were placed in the wrong spot but he gave them to me for that that price anyways which was nice of him um so i guess that's not a good bolo <laughs> at full price it was not very good moved on to fred meyer and the replens or the toys that i had gotten at the other fred meyer none of them none of them were at this Fred Meyer, not a single one. So I was pretty bummed. Uh, that was a quick store. I didn't get anything. I went in, went out. Then I went over to Walmart, got my two, let's see here. I had, sorry, mask. You ever get your mask off in the freaking wind? I feel like my, my whole face is irritated. So I had two toys to return. She was able to look those up and get my account credited for work. And then I had one personal return, got that done. 
wasn't too bad standing in line. And then I went over to the toy department, found a bunch of my replens. So I was pretty excited about that. One toy. Okay, so when I'm over in toys, if I find one good item or I get led to one good item, I'm going to scan all the items that are like that toy, right? And uh, some things I scanned are not good, of course. And then I found a new one that's on my list to look out for. And my goodness, it's buy for 13, sell for 55. So it's probably the best thing I've ever found in Walmart. I was really excited with myself. Uh, the whole store here is going through some remodel. Had a few things that I was looking for in the beauty department and it's all torn up. They're redoing the shelves. It's, it's terrible. Of course, I'm always going to go to the clearance aisle, give a few scans there. There was one particular toy, sorry, game that is an adult game. Oh, and I'm going to space on the name, but it, it, I have, I was gated in it. So there was kind of two versions. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it really quick. 